Okay? So here these are payoffs. This is a plus. This is a plus. Now, if you put your money in the stocks and there's prosperity there, you gain, say, 20% of your money. Okay? And if you put your money into stocks and there's recession, like we've had with meltdown and so forth, you might lose a lot. You might lose 30% of your money. So therefore, we have these payoffs based upon the, uh, uh, the alternatives, the, process, the uh, states of nature, and the payoffs. Now the question is, so what? What do I do with this? Well, what do you do with this? this. There are many ways to make decisions. Uh, some way, you might want to be a pessimist. A Wall Street being a pessimist is known as being a bear, being bearish on America. So therefore, we'll, we'll talk about being a pessimist, okay? A pessimist says that worst comes to worst, what can I get? Okay? So this uh, be a pessimist there. So let's take a look at this. We take a look at if you put your money in the bank, the lowest value you're going to get is 4.0. This is, the min this is the minimum, okay? Now, if you put your money in the stocks, no matter what happens, you'll, the worst thing you can get is you lose 30% of your money. That's the minimum, okay? So therefore, if you put your money in the stocks, the best thing you're gonna get, uh, the, you're gonna get 4.0 no matter what occurs. So between 4.1 and 4.0, the lowest value is 4.0. For putting money in the stocks, the lowest value you're going to get is lose 30% of your money. So this is the minimum of the first row. This is the minimum of the second row there. So we go with the, the, the largest of that, and we call this the maximum, maximum value of the minimums, or minima, minima, or minima. And we call this, in the... We abbreviate this as maxing min. This is the maximum value of the minimum. Okay. Now, we talk about being pessimistic. And you say, who's a pessimist? Well, obviously there, somebody puts their money into, uh, uh, puts their money into something that's guaranteed by the FDIC. It's a pessimist, right? It's a conservative way of looking at it. It's to some extent, the bankers are all conservative pessimists because they say collateral means if you uh, borrow money from me and you don't get it and you don't pay me back, we'll foreclose on you. We'll take the collateral away. So that's being a pessimist. This would call it being bearish on the the market. Now, if we have a pessimist, we have to, we're all pessimists to some degree because when we have some degree of insurance, we're saying that if worst comes to worst, if the house burns down or if this gets stolen, I get so much back there. So you say worst comes to worst. So the key here is worst comes to worst. Okay? Now, if we have a pessimist, we have to have the opposite end, an optimist. An optimist. What does the optimist say? The optimist says, if best comes to best, what can I get? Who do we know who does, does things like that? Any gambler does that. They always say, well, if I, can, if, if, I, if I bet on the lottery or this thing here, you have to be an optimist. You got one chance at 80 million, still somebody has to win. So therefore, we say, well, how, do, how does the optimist make a decision? Well, in this matrix here, you say, what's the best thing that can occur? Not the worst. What's the best thing that can occur with this row? The best thing I can get is I get plus 4.1. So that would be the maximum of the row, with between 4.1 and 4.0. And then if I put my money into stocks, the best I can get is plus 20. That's the maximum of the row. Now, between these two here, I want the maximum value, value of the maxima. Notice here was the minima, this is maxima, of the maximums, maxima. And of those two here, this is the 